down to game five. This is for sure a, a game five situ- situation between Jake and Ape and Man. It's kind of hard for me because I I don't want to have bias. But, like, the thing about the bias here is I have a hard out for Ape and Man, dude. He's, he's somebody I've always seen coming to MSM online and doing best and having a good time. Even when he loses, he tries his best. And I think I've always enjoyed Ape and Man. But I've always I've enjoyed seeing how Jake has risen to prominence. And I think this is, like I said, this is kind of an unintentional battle between the two MSM Online Kings. And I'm kind of, like I said, Mighty Man, I'm kind of holding my heart out for Ape Man. But like like you said, I want this to be realistically a game game five, and I expect nothing less. Yeah, uh, we're starting out on Final Destination. A very interesting choice for uh, both characters, I think. But right now, uh, Jake is uh, almost at 100 percent oh robo arms uh use it uh ape man uses robo's arms to protect the stage uses it again air directional air dodge and jake was not able to make it back to stage but uh before before we go on i just want to say uh thank uh thank you so much uh vance for commentating with me and uh I, i've had a lot of fun Oh, dude, thank you so much for, for joining us today, man. Honestly, uh, we'll talk about some cool things happening at Game Crossing a little bit after this match. Um, but for sure, all of you guys out there, thank you for joining us as well. Thank you, Mighty Man. I appreciate having you here. It's always good to see young blood definitely take some time with the mic because when I was your age, man, I would definitely be scared. So you have a lot brave. You're much braver than I was at your age. Uh, and definitely the bravery between Ape and Man and Jake is going to be the real test of bravery here because both of these players have to be brave not only in, in the edge guards but brave in terms of facing each other because whoever commits a little bit too late here might be rough i was gonna say jake is pretty brave go, going for double fair but you know ape man is pretty brave for watching that mash out but unfortunately in the middle of that timing that's what jake kind of sensed out here getting that forward smash and the stock but ape man still holds the cards here 86 percent on jake yeah uh jake right now uh one thing that I always get confused with this stage is like how how come it requires a shovel? That's the one thing that makes me uh, think like it shouldn't it be a pickaxe? But I mean, hey, it, logic, kinda. But back into the match, nice down smash coming out from Ape Man. He he is keeping uh, Jake uh, in the air a lot uh, and keeping his stage control. Uh, nice uh, sword to pickaxe there. It was really good. Uh, keeping Ape Man. Oh, missing the fair though. He was. Oh, oh goodness! I almost thought he was gonna die because you can see that like uh, his rocket ran out and he was just at that point. It was he was at the mercy of the of the grabbing of the ledge and he somehow uh, was successful uh, holding the gyro as well uh, while he's mining. Throws the gyro. Uses the minecart to get back to stage. Now he does have a diamond, but the uh, the bad thing about having a diamond and having high percent is that uh, if one of your tools breaks, then you can't really do anything. Because one, if you die, you're gonna lose it, and two, it forces you to use the diamond. Sadly. Yeah. Good on Ape Man to go for Nair because the one common option you will see from Jake is going for a jump off the minecart. And that's what effectively Ape Man is trying to stop that jump from the minecart to punish him for that favorable option he likes to get. Uh, yeah. Good. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's that, that's that's a bear. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say at this point that's the stock here. Yeah, but Ape, uh, Jake was sitting at a pretty high two hundred right there. Surprisingly, uh, being able to uh, hold it, uh, keep keep himself together for a long time there. But Ape Man right now, uh, having a hard time against this Alex, and the up smash is gonna finish it off. Wow. It breaks my heart. I even made this so strong. And Jake just being that few steps ahead of him, man. And it's what makes Jake so strong as a player, too. There's a lot of things that I definitely see it being difficult for. Essentially, as Rob, you don't want to give Alex the time of the day to mine up those materials. Especially if you're trying to buy yourself back off the stage. The crazy thing about... Steve, Alex, Enderman, Zombie, whatever you want to call them, is that when they can, when they try to whiff punish you from the ledge, they can essentially 
still effectively mine out materials and then punish you from getting from the ledge by stopping to mine materials. It isn't that hard. So in that same sense, Ape Man kind of has to play this matchup very, very differently than what he would be used to. As a matter of fact, like playing against Steve, you have to play very differently than what more or less you are used to because of the way the character works. This definitely is one of those characters that challenges your mindset of like mashing out with your timings, understanding when to properly avoid or punish Steve for going off of minecart, getting used to those options of him being able to mine out materials. The patient game totally changes as time goes on within the match. So it's essentially a very, very different matchup. And it's also one that I tell people, it's, it's one that I can definitely say like it's, Steve is one of those really strong, like I, I can't say, I wanna say kind of broken in some sense, but he's still like, we're, we're just now seeing the effectiveness of this character in players like Jake. When the character first came out, this wasn't a character, this is kind of a character we slowly threw away. And now this character is starting to slowly look like a very strong threat online. And it's gonna be crazy how that threat carries offline. Especially when you think about characters like Sephiroth, Min Min <laughs> all together and alongside Pyra and Mithra, it's, it's crazy. But look, I'm liking how Ape Man takes advantage of this situation here and he tries to make the most of it. Because look, now he was able to get in, gets a small combo here. Not what he's fully looking for, but I like how he takes advantage of a, of a sour situation and trying to make it better for himself. One thing that I did really like what Jake started out with is creating a wall, mining until he got a diamond, getting also getting more resources and making another wall because if 8-bit men was trying to go over it, he could easily punish him or just shield and use the blocks to his advantage. Yeah, this is the second time that 8-bit men has made that attempt. And I give him credit for it. Oh no, yeah, that's so rough. And you see the red you see the red flash because that means it's pretty much an untuggable that situation. So it was really rough for 8-bit men in that point. But man, he had the right, that's the thing about Jake. He's now starting to call Ape Man for his recovery options, like so. But this time, Ape Man, a little bit on the, lo the lower percent there, as opposed to last time. It is not gonna be an untuckable. He's gotta watch the match out here. Yeah, and he's able to escape. But yeah, Ape Man right now, it, losing his second stock due to minecart and uh, the, the diamond side smash. Uh, Jake right now has been using his uh, up air with the, with the diamond axe and using the block since uh, Alex her jumps aren't that good, but uh, Jake you, uh, losing his first stock, but that's okay because that allows him to now use his uh, second diamond, so he doesn't waste it. And right now, he, uh, Ape Man using Robo Arms and uh, charging up his gyro, yeah. using it, and he still gets hit. Uh, he still gets kidnapped by the minecart. <laughs> that's where it hurts the most. <laughs> is, is getting pretty much getting kidnapped by the minecart. That is a neutral layer on the shield here. Not going to be that safe. It's kind of rough for Ape Man because he is looking for those usual safe options here. But just the way that Jake has been able to be punishing those, like I said, it forces Ape Man to think a little differently. And wow, wow. Uh, that combination of using down smash and TNT. That's rough. Yeah, that's rough. A recipe for disaster in Minecraft, in Smash, and in real life. Oh, man. I'll never forget finding my... Funny funny that you bring that up. I remember finding my first minecart with TNT. Uh, and there was a lava pit. And I, at the time, I wasn't aware of how lava... Like, what, how lava and TNT interact in Minecraft. And I left the TNT a little bit too close to my base. And I left the lava a little bit too close to my base. And I left the trees a little bit too close to my base. And I'm telling you right now, when I came back to my base, it wasn't a base anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, I was just getting started. I had the horse. I had the diamond pickaxe. I had the enchantment table. Mm, it was looking good, you know. Defeated the ender dragon. Ah, man, I was making, I was making a good run on hardcore mode. I'll tell you right now, man. Hardcore? Oh, goodness. Tell you, tell you what right now, man. 19-year-old Vance definitely cried and threw his PC <laughs> somewhere across the, the entire apartment. <laughs> oh, goodness. I know you guys but hate yeah. Minecraft, Steve, Alex, or Enderman. Man, play the game. The game is a great time, especially if you're stuck in quarantine. It's a great, it's a great game to kill time. Great play the game to play with your friends, too. Uh, 
countless hours I have wasted on that game. I have thoroughly enjoyed. But I'm hoping to enjoy a W from Ape and Men. I've already told you guys my bias. I'm not afraid to make it known. I have a hard out for this player, and I hope that he's able to come all full circle. And it starts off like that. He's changed the game plan. You talked about it, Mighty Man. You know that Jake is building out this wall, but this time Ape and Men said, I'm going to go a little bit aggressive on this wall, and I'm getting in. Yo, like, what I just saw right there was, like, neutral air to destroy the wall and then gyro. That's amazing. Yes. Like, he knows what to do. Like, he's he's switching it up. Like, he's going full-on aggressive. Uh, like, he's going full-on predator mode. And he's just, like, going to... He's just going to town on Jake right now. Like, you can I... see he's <laughs> just pressuring him so much to the point where, like, Jake isn't able to get his resources at all like he right now he only has three dime uh not three diamonds three iron and the backer to finish him off my goodness <laughs> he's only got three iron man but that backer looking like a five-star backer especially when ape and man needed it the most here good pressure on the shield that's good for ape and man to continuously build up that pressure against jake but i do like that jake has understand i'm gonna let that pressure be false pressure because all i need to do is hold shield a little bit longer on this situation he only builds two blocks there and that gives ape and man the gyro to come in and it's like you said mighty man he's brick he's breaking down the wall man he's he's you can tell that jake has built the wall and ape and man is now starting to break things down slowly it's taking him two games, but you know what? That's the beauty of adaptation and a best of five scenario here. Jake finally getting the stock also off Ape and Man as well. Like, there's, that, it's one thing to have a two out of three, but it's another thing to have a three out of five when it comes to the to Smash Brothers. Yeah. But yeah, like easily, Ape, you can tell that Ape and Man is learning and he's like adapting as much as he can to pressure Jake uh, to the point where he's unable to... Uh, get his resources right now Jake does have an extra diamond though So if he does lose this stock he is covered for his next stock and grabbing using the forward throw Apeman man is uh, Getting at high percent right now nice uh, get up attack though the gyro destroying the minecart, which is very good for Apeman. man my goodness uh, I'm actually surprised he's surviving uh, at this high percent and that diamond pickaxe is going to end Ape Man stock, and also Jake is having to stick with his hand for mining. But I mean, there's, there's no point in mining at this point because one, his iron is gonna reset, and he just has his diamond, which is kind of all he really needs for his next stock. Yeah, having that diamond is really crucial here, and now you know that Ape Man definitely kind of understands the situation. As soon as the faster he gets rid of the stock, the better. He's still gotta worry about another diamond though, so we'll see. He's taking yeah. some ah the down smash too, and unfortunately Rob's huge hurt box makes it really hard. He's still able to tech good stuff oh, on Ape Man. Yeah, he knows that Anvil is coming now. He's well aware of that situation. That neutral are not killing off that 150 plus percent. That is rough. But this down throw will the tombstone is the gonna be a full pile driver. Ape Man on 94 percent. I'm telling you right now, mighty man. I don't want to see this guy go down to a 3-0, and I want to see him bring it back. But Jake. Like I said, he's a whole different beast, man. It's king versus king, and there can only be one that stands among them. As the king of MSM online. Ape and Man, though, slowly taking his time. And that's you see three minutes on the clock. He can definitely choose to take his time. That's why there's a timer, man. You don't want to... It's not an infinite match, man. It's, it's got its own time limit, and he needs to take his time to come back to it. And I like the angle on the shield. Almost this full corner carry, but it's a great star in terms of percent. But yeah, right now... Uh... Ape Man hasn't uh, been taking that, hasn't taken a hit in a long time. He is not, he's not over committing and he's also using those, uh, no, Ape Man. But yeah, he wasn't committing at all and he was shielding a lot uh, to like fake out Jake, but Jake found a, a, a hole through his system and he was able to uh, take out his final stock. Oh, that's a pretty well said, man. I hate to say it. 